There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this might look familiar. This is Morath's Super Entrap, which is the sequel to Morath Ware's Entrap. The colour scheme is an, an incredible SVGA resolution. I think it's 1000 by 700 and something. And uh, this probably looks, yeah, like I said, quite familiar. But there are differences. So the goal is to reach the other end of the maze. And the numeric keypad is the way to move your little character. Alright? Makes sense. You can hold shift and press a key to make a hole in this crazy coloured maze. And you can press F before pressing a key to fill a hole in the maze. So let's, uh, let's try this. So shift to make a hole and F to create. So it's turn based and these little robot things will try to get you. You can see one over there. Just come into view on the left hand side. I already noticed that I think there's more of a draw distance and you can actually see what's going on to your left and right a bit more than the, the previous Morath were. So I filled a hole there by pressing F and up. But obviously I haven't moved forward and that took a turn. So these guys to my left can't seem to get me so I'll just uh, proceed down the map safe in the knowledge that everything is okay all right I was expecting the map to redraw by this point but apparently it will not now this other robot guy here has spotted me but he has no way to get to me. There's the redraw. There is a hole there. First hit F, then repeat your last key to fill the hole. So instead of just dropping you down into the hole and say, yep, so long, it uh, has decided to be lenient with me, which is nice. So let's see. If I head that way, Yes, I, I like that it's it's given me uh, little instructions at the bottom. And apparently enter makes a large hole. Ugh. Right. So we've got an alien here. And he's approaching us. So what I'm going to do is go forward. And then uh, to make holes and stop enemies, use the shift and arrow keys together. Ha ha! There we go. So now, oh no, he can move diagonally. Uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> He's turned me upside down. Game over. Hit any key. My name is Lonnie. The all-time greats. Lonnie is better than nobody. It's official. Look at that. Mr. Nobody. I, he only managed to get a score of zero. That's really not very impressive. So, uh. I feel like the graphic setting that I've picked is slightly uh, messed up. But hey, also there's mouse support in the menu. That's nice. Uh, so let's let's play one more time. And you'll see, hey, this maze has changed. I think they're procedurally generated mazes. And each time you reach the end, the uh, robots become a bit more aggressive. So we'll fill that hole. We'll proceed up here. You can also play at whatever speed you want. I'm being slow and contemplative. I have a bad feeling. Is that also a robot? No. Or is it? There's a sort of square there. You can't get to me, robot. Despite your diagonal movement. Okay. Can I just sidestep him? What if I head this way? The other thing... Of note is see that robot there closest to me I had no idea he was there because 
you really have to move quite a distance in order to, you know, force a map change. Okay, uh, right. I need to stop this enemy. So I'm going to hit shift and that. And then shift and that. There. So he can't move diagonally and he can't move towards me. So I think I'm safe. And then I'm going to go like that. And that blocks off that area too. So now, every time you move forward in the map, your score goes up. But, you know, moving across like that wouldn't work. I mean, it didn't because I would have fallen down a hole. But, you know, you get the idea. So you can see this robot here wants to uh, prevent our heading forward so we'll just uh, we'll pick another island now what happens if I hit space to redraw aha so if you want the camera to change automatically you can wait until you hit a certain point in the map but if you want to force it so you can see the playing field better then you just hit space I thought I was going to redraw the map but it didn't now, can I go over there? Yes, I can. Ah! Onward and upward. Isn't this exciting? So, there is a bridge here that a robot could cross. I'm just going to... Note that some enemies are stupid and completely stop when anything is in their way. Others will go around simple objects and walls should take note of how each type behaves, right? So there are multiple types of enemies. We're just taking on the stupid ones because that makes sense, you know, at the beginning of the level, but also, you know, because I'm fairly stupid myself when it comes to puzzle games. I did really enjoy the first in Trap more than I thought I would. And this one is essentially more of the same. When you are engulfed by enemies, you may have to block yourself in and then look for a way out of your own trap. I don't think we'll get to that point, Mr. Steve Moraf. So, this guy has me fairly well scouted. I could, like, uh, let's just redraw with the space. Look, so, either side, hmm, could cause problems. So, let's just, uh, Oh, there's two of them there, right? We're, we're, we're just going to head this way, if you don't mind. Don't mind me. Yep, just just ignore that I'm leaving. Oh, there's two that side as well. Oh, this could be an issue. Right, so I'm going to try and fill and head up. And then, right, I need to think carefully here. That was that was a space bar. I didn't didn't mean to do that. That was shift I wanted to hit. Right. I may have screwed myself here. We'll see. Uh, okay. Yeah. There we go. They can't get me. Well, that one can, but he's like uh, Mr. Moraf said. He's a bit stupid on it. So, let's just redraw, and you get the idea. I mean, I could play forever. I think that might be the end of the map there, but that would take another 10 to 15 minutes at the speed I'm doing it. So, I don't know if it goes on indefinitely or whether it's level-based, but hey, if you've played the original in Trap and want another version that's slightly updated, and yeah, Super Entrap is super fun. If you're into that kind of puzzle game, for everyone else that finds the graphics eye-searingly terrible and the lack of sound, you know, irritating, you might want to avoid this. It's that typical Moraf style where he's got these super high resolutions and these crazy art styles and color palettes that were the rage back in the shareware days because... They made the game look so distinctive. Any game that Moraf made, whoa, look at that, at case in point, you know, was visually very distinct from the other 
shareware titles at the time. So yeah, hats off to Steve Moroff yet again. But if you're into that kind of entrapment style of puzzle game and you don't mind that, go for it. It's good fun. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you are a fan of Morafware, but also a fan of Lonnie, you could become my patron. Think of it as a little tip jar for all the free videos I give you. Look at those wonderful names. They're all waiting for a Dungeons of the Endless playthrough, or whatever it's called. Until next time.